Welcome grade 3 years to our mathematics lesson number 1, ordering and comparing numbers. In this lesson, you will be able to order numbers, compare numbers, describe the relationship between numbers, say the number name of each number, and recognize the value of each digit. In front of you, you have a set of given numbers. We already know that three digit numbers have the values of hundreds, tens, and units. Let's count from 175 to 180. 175, 176, 177, 178, 179, 180. You will notice that I've already divided the numbers into hundreds, tens, and units. So let us look at the two numbers that are given below. We have got 175 and we've got 178. You will notice that both digits in the hundredth value are equal. You will also notice that both digits in the tens value are equal. So the two numbers that we are going to compare falls in the unit value. However, the fifth value is smaller than the eighth value. And this is why we can say that 175 is smaller than 178. This is a question that might always pop up in your formal assessment. You need to know the difference between smaller than and greater than. Whenever you are looking at these two words, smaller than, always remember that this means less. And when you are looking at the two words greater than, always remember that this means more. And equal to always refers to having the same quantity, size or value. Can you do the activity on your own? Look at the two clouds. We've got 174 and 179. Is 174 smaller than 179? Is it greater than 179? Or is it equal to 179? Correct! 174 is smaller than 179. Look at the following numbers. You need to decide which numbers are greater than, smaller than, or equal to. I will give you two minutes to complete this all on your own. You can tell your mom or your dad how you got to your answer. Let's see how well you can remember. Try to do this activity on your own by writing down which numbers are smaller than, greater than, or equal to. If you are struggling on how to write these sentences, go back to the slides to look at the spelling. I would like you to look at these jumbled numbers and rearrange them in ascending order. Remember, ascending order means from the smallest value to the biggest value. And now we are going to rearrange these numbers in descending order. Remember, descending order means from the biggest value to the smallest value. Remember to tick off the numbers you have already done. I'm going to give you one minute to complete this.
In this next activity, we are going to guess what the unshaded numbers are. Can you guess what they are? I'll give you a while to look at the number grid. Keep in mind that we know already that the shaded numbers are even numbers. By looking at this number grid, we are going to identify what type of numbers we get. There are two rows of hearts. In one row, we have six hearts. In the second row, we have five hearts. In the first row, we can share the hearts equally. This is how we know six is an even number. In the second row, we cannot share the hearts equally because one heart is left over. This is how we know that five is an odd number. Therefore, the unshaded numbers are called odd numbers. In this activity, we are going to move forwards and backwards using the number grid. Let us look at the first sentence. I am five more than 155. Let us put our finger on the number 155. As you can see, I've shaded it yellow. Let us count five more, or let us move five forward. And the answer is 160. Let us look at the second question. I'm four less than 160. Let us put our finger on 160 and as you can see, I've shaded it yellow. Let us count four less, which means we need to move backward. And the answer is 156. Let us move to the next question. I am three more than 167. Let us put our finger on 167 and let us count forward because it is three more. And the answer is 170. Well done. Let us look at the last one. It says, I am in between 196 and 198. Let's use, let's use our right hand index finger and our left hand index finger. Let's place it on 196 and 198. What number do you see in the middle? Correct. It is 197. You now know how to add and subtract, and you know how to move forward and backwards in the number grid. Here is a problem solving sum to test your knowledge. Kip spent his day at the beach. He bought five buckets to collect his shells inside. He picked up 20 shells. How many shells can he put inside each bucket? You will need to show me how you get to your answer. Think of the previous slide and think about how you can equally divide Kip's shells into his five buckets that he bought. I hope you have enjoyed this lesson great please and I also hope that you have learned a lot. Let us see how much you can remember. For your homework today you are going to write down all the even numbers between 155 and 160. You're going to write down all the odd numbers between 185 and 190 because you now know what even numbers are and what odd numbers are. 
you will be rearranging the numbers in descending order and rewrite them in your book. You are going to tell me how many tens does 185 have? You are going to tell me how many units does 176 have? And the last question is that you are going to write down the number names of all the numbers between 135 and 140. Have a great day further.